Stay tuned to see how I created this adorable wheeled blanket basket. I just wanted to start this week's video by giving a moment to this table that I redid last week. Go check that video out. I'll put the link in the description box below. So I'm starting with this metal galvanized bucket box. I don't really know what to call it. And these alphabet stencils. I got these from the Laura DIY collection. But I'm going to use these to stencil on the words cozy blankets. Now, having completed the project, one thing that I want to warn you about is your spacing. Because as you can see, using the stencils as is, there is not enough room for the word blanket. So you have to kind of finagle it a little bit like I did unless you just are a lot better at spacing than I am then you won't have any problem with this part so I am using this apple barrel acrylic paint to stencil on the letters and I decided like to let each coat dry and then add glitter to it this week's video I'm not gonna lie was a little hectic because I woke up a little late and I had this in my mind on how I wanted to create this video, but I kind of rushed because of running out of time for my Tuesday upload. So as you see, I start kind of working backwards with the stencils and realized that I did not have enough room with the placement of where the L was. So I ended up erasing it essentially by using acetone and a paper towel. So then I was able to finagle it and get the whole word on the bottom. Now I am using these modular wheels and they do come with screws, but I am going to hot glue them on to the bottom of the bucket. Next, I am going to add a coat of Mod Podge and then here is the final DIY wheeled blanket basket. I wanted to create an area for all of the blankets that I have and no, this is not at least a quarter of them, um, but I wanted an area that was designated specifically for all my blankets and I really love how cute this came out. I really like the color of paint that I chose and of course you guys know I have to do glitter so the addition of the glitter is really adorable and the place that I'm going to be setting this there's like a little light right above it and so the glitter will sparkle with the hitting of the light Thank you for joining me for another video this week let me know in the comments down below if you would use this wheel basket for something other than blankets make sure you like this video share it with a friend subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell for notifications of each new video wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're having a great day and always keep creating all right i love you guys bye